this I'm Janet on occasion, and today I'm playing with the Total War Warhammer 2 Battle Replay. So, uh, this one, uh, I'm actually playing against the Gobbo King, and uh, he's been on the channel before. Um, he helped me out with some uh, Dwarf and Bretonia nonsense. So, um, anyway, this time he's playing as the Greenskins. Um, that's right, we are using a mod. Um, it's the uh, Custom Battles Unlocker Old World Faction something. Anyway, link will be in the description. And uh, also, uh, there'll be a link to uh, Gobbo King's channel, and uh, you'll see that at the end of the video as well. So, uh, as you can see, I've got the uh, the Lizardman here. So, uh, I've gone with my pretty, you know, sort of Stegadon heavy build here. So, uh, I've got the front line of Skink Cohorts. Um, supplemented by these Croxicles here, which I figured do very well against sort of Black Orcs, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, while the Skink Cohort just bogged them down and act a nuisance. Um, also, the Skink should do okay against sort of Goblins and cheap things like that, so should be okay. Um, also, I've got the Skink Chief on a Stegadon, and I've got a Skink Priest of Beasts on a Stegadon. So, uh, bare bones sort of, you know, abilities and spells on these guys. So, uh, it's really only a couple hundred more than getting an Ancient Stegadon. Um, but you also get Encourage and, um, you know, a few other bits and bobs. So, um, pretty useful. Also, I've got Krokgar. And, uh, gotta love Krokgar. Do love this guy. Uh, on Grimlock, of course. So, um, yeah, a lot of heavy stuff for him to worry about. Um, I've also got these two, uh, Pterodon Riders with Fire Leech Bowlers. So, it should be fun. So, if we go over here, classic Gobbo King tactics of spreading everything out all over the place, which, uh, is... It, he does a great job of it, to be honest. Um, it's so much to just handle and constantly move around, but, you know, front line hits you, um, a few of your guys hold it in place, other people can flank around, you can retreat, you can do what you like. So it's pretty cool. So, front line, Savage Orcs. So, nice cheap fodder, and, uh, you know, they do have that physical... <clears throat> pardon me? They do have that physical resist, so it's pretty good. You know, they're going to be good against skinks and stuff, big, big damage dealers. Um, so that should work out really well. Also, he's got Black Orcs, which would be great anti-armor. So um, these guys are going to be pretty formidable, and uh, he's also got some goblin archers in the back, and he's got some gob uh, knight goblin archers as well. So these guys, you know, obviously without the rusty arrows, these guys are going to have a hard time getting through any of the armour, but, you know, we'll see. So also, he's got some savage orc biggins in the back, so some good anti-large, again with the physical resist, these guys should do pretty well against all the big monsters, so that's pretty cool. He's also got some orc boar boy biggins as well, so a bit more manoeuvrable, big lot of monsters. He's also got some more hidden in the trees over here. And uh, they're led by Azag the Slaughterer on his Wyvern. And uh, this was the first surprise, actually. Um, his speed is 100. I didn't realise Wyvern's that quick. Um, but, you know, the Pterodon Riders I thought would be way quicker than any flying units they'd bring. But no, they're 90. So actually, Azag can catch these guys, which is very annoying. So let's speed things up and see how it goes. So, um, immediately I just charge straight in. Well, I say immediately. Eventually I charge straight in. <laughs> so over here, you know, I'm trying to hit... Um, Azag a bit with the Fire Lich Bowlers, but they're not really hitting much. So um, I do actually bring up the uh, Skink Priest and the Skink Chief to get some fire on him as well. So um, then he should move up in a second. There we go. And uh, I'll move the rest of the front line forward, because there's no point, you know, just getting bogged down in this fight for too long. So uh, <laughs> leaving leaving these great little, you know, paths in the Skinks there. Pretty cool. So uh, I will shoot them a little bit with these guys. They got pretty good, um, you know, missile attack. So it's pretty good. And these guys, you know, this guy is 70 armor, which is a fair bit, but you know, not a huge amount. You can see a fair bit of damage just from one hit from these guys. Um, so you know, the fire leech bowlers have managed to get out of there. Obviously, he doesn't want to chase them and get just focused down by these guys. So uh, I'm going to charge in with everything here. So um, I think I send one off this way. I try and get the croc scores on the black orcs because, of course, you know that big armor piercing the croc scores have got should do well against the black orcs. Um, here, though, you can see the Savage Orcs just completely murder Skinks. Um, they are a great pick against Skinks. So here, I'm trying to get to their archers as well. So, um, you know, I've got a couple of my big guys in the back. But, you know, Savage Orc Biggins, they're going to do a fair bit of work. Um, so I got Flock of Doom here. So the Flock of Doom's going to do well against, um, you know, Savage Orcs. Because, of course, they've got physical resistance, but that's not going to help them against spells. So, um, you know, they're going to be more vulnerable to that than they are any of my units, really. So um, it's pretty useful. Here, though, unfortunately, my skinks decided to chase these um, these savage orcs that we did win against, um, but they just getting mopped up by the orc boar boy, boy, boy biggins now, which is very annoying. So um, you can see my skinks across the board are having a really bad time. Um, they're just not having much fun at all. So uh, my pterodon riders now I'm trying to use to sort of mop up some of these uh, goblin archers, but you know they are taking some fire, which is a bit annoying. So I'd rather they didn't do that. Um, so over here, actually, uh, Azag decided to join the fight. So now these crocs are going to have a horrible time. Um, they're not going to do well against the Black Orcs and Azag, and there's no skink supporting them. So, um, yeah, the Crocs scores are just going to get taken out here. Um, and here as well, you know, you can see they're, they're getting pretty spread thin, actually. I was trying to get them on the Black Orcs, but they kept getting caught up. 
fighting uh, fighting savage orcs that are quite quick, you know, so it's, it's tough. So, um, but, you know, you can see um, they've done some damage to sort of, you know, my Stegadons, um, but Grotgar, he's still having a good time. Um, no problems there. So that's all right. And uh, these old ball boy biggins, they're actually getting taken out by the skink chief. You know, with those missile attacks and the poison, and look, even he's joining in. So, um, you know, they get pretty, uh, pretty, pretty hurt. And obviously they're not immune to psychology. So terrified is going to have a big effect. So that's very tough. So uh, as you can see, Pterodon Riders scaring away the archers. They can join back in, they're nice and quick. And the Croxagors, they're having a bad day as well. So yeah, the biggins, they're going to have that anti-large on them. So uh, despite having 100 armor, um, they just get overwhelmed because they didn't have any support. Usually get, you know, get some infantry in there to support and they take some of the damage, but nope. It was all on the Croxagors, so not good at all. And uh, over here, see more Croxagors and the Skinks. Uh, they're trying to help, but against Black Orcs, this is still going to be tough because those Black Orcs, they're going to be able to get through that 100 armor. So um, pretty tough. And over here, you can see with Azag's help, uh, these uh, Savage Orc Biggins are doing horrible work to the Skink Chief. So uh, I'm trying to get, uh, what's it called, cold-blooded on him. I know it's a bad idea, he gets hit more if you do that, but he was going to get taken out, so I had to do something, just to buy me some time, hoping that heal would actually do enough. He uses Spirit Leech on me as well, which is very scary. Uh, but here, <laughs> you can see, just just plow through everything with this Skink Chief, uh, Skink Priest of Beasts. So that's really good. But more biggins coming, a lot of biggins. Um, this is not good. Uh, but, you know, Croc Guy, he's going to do a lot of damage. These guys are going to get terrified again. Uh, War has been triggered, so plus 44 melee attack. That's, yeah, that's not to be sniffed at. So uh, over here you can see a big blob of infantry, so I'm trying to get the rocks, you know, dropped on them. But look how much infantry has got left. There's a lot left here. Um, you can see their leadership isn't the best in the world, so Terra is going to play its part. But um, the Blackhawks, they are immune to psychology. So I'm not going to scare them away. And that armor piercing, that's going to hurt. I mean, they don't have the anti-large, but they'll still be able to do a lot of damage to my skinks. Uh, well, to my um, ancient Stagodons, rather. So uh, that's not good. And also it's Ginks, I suppose. Um, but that's not what I meant. So here, uh, I tried him with the Hand of God, but Hand of Gods or whatever it is. Uh, it doesn't work. It just misses. Uh, which is a shame. Um, I actually waste another charge of that later. Um, it's just not worth trying to hit flying units with that. Um, it just it just doesn't hit them. If they're stood like this, you know, on the ground, really great. Use it then. Um, but I didn't. So uh, here you can see with the Flock of Doom getting some damage on them, and then all the Terror, you can see a lot of their units are starting to run, you know, run away now, which is really good. And Azag has taken so much damage, so that's really good for me. But, you know, over here I've got a Skink Chief sort of on his own, but he has rallied. And over here my Skink Priest of Beasts is is almost out of the fight, to be honest. Luckily I've got, you know, Krokgar and Grimlock nearby, so he can't really risk landing Azag here. Um, but, you know, he's going to go for my Pterodon Rides again, which is very annoying. And uh, you can see some more archers are back online. Um, I think that's my only Pterodons at this point. I think the other ones got taken out. So uh, I am getting some Skinks back. So I am, I'm pretty sure I send them over here to try and mop up these guys, make sure they can't come back. And I'm trying to get all my big units together. So that way if he does ever land, you know, Azag to attack one of them, the other two can back him up. Because I think that's my only chance here, to keep these guys together. So uh, luckily, some shattering going on, which is good. They don't like being shot at while being chased by, you know, T-Rexes. Um, it's just not, yeah, it's just not really in the nature to enjoy that kind of thing. So, over here, you can see, uh, I tried to get rid of these um, goblin archers, and I did, they're shattered now. But now Azag has come, and, you know, he's going to scare off. Because he causes terror as well, you know, So uh, with the Wyvern. So now they've got terrified, so they're going to fly away. But he kind of needs to get back here and support his men, you know, because he needs that leadership buff. You know, he needs to encourage these guys, or else they're not going to stay in the fight. So uh, here, unfortunately, I did stop chasing them with these guys. I wanted to regroup. Uh, which actually I should have carried on chasing a bit because now all these infantry are coming back. Well, not all of them, obviously. Uh, but here I get a flock of doom. I'm just trying to encourage these guys to run away again. But without the terror from these guys, um, these skinks aren't going to be able to do anything. You know, they're just going to hit these big ones and get, you know, completely butchered. These guys are going to get leadership buffs, uh, which I can't see for some reason, uh, for winning the fight. And there you go. That's my skinks gone. So that's irritating. Anyway, over here, um, I have managed to scare off these black orcs again, which is great. Just overwhelming force here. Um, these three together, um, you know, they're going to do okay. He really needs to regroup, but he's got guys spread out everywhere. And every time he moves Azag away from my Pterodon Riders, I get them back. So I'm going to be able to scare these guys off again. So I'm going to be able to trigger army losses soon. If I keep, you know, breaking one unit at a time. You know, enough times, they're just going to shatter. So uh, another Flock of Doom, just trying to do some damage to their infantry. As you can see, you know, barely any health, but still 42 models. So, you know, even just getting nudged by anything here, they're going to get, you know... They're going to die a lot. There you go, another big miss. Just such a shame. Because that would have probably finished him if that was a direct hit. 
So uh, here, you know, Terra is going to come into effect. He's still got some archers somehow, but I don't think any of these guys have to worry too much about archers, honestly. Um, so uh, yeah, use the swiftness of Itzel, I believe, um, to you know do that sort of big explosion attack. Good against infantry. So uh, you can see they're taking an absolute beating. Unfortunately, um, yeah, Azag is, is does look like he's going to kill this king chief. So that's not good. Although this is pretty close, and uh, backup is coming. So here comes the other Stegadon, and there we go. He shatters. He just couldn't handle it. Too many big dinosaurs. So Pyrrhic victory, and it was incredibly Pyrrhic. Um, honestly, like with this fight, um, if regiments are renowned were in the game yet, um, Gobo King would have won that. Honestly, it was so close. Um, but yeah, I mean, he could have killed that Stegadon, he could have killed the other one, if he just had Rusty Arrows. Honestly, I think if he just had Rusty Arrows helping out his archers, I did get on them pretty early, but still, just that armor sundering, you know, and then coming back, because they always come back. Um, yeah, I think he could have done serious work. Um, I think he could have taken these guys out if he just managed to get through their armor. So um, yeah, I think something like the Rusty Arrows would have would have won it for him, honestly. Because that's all I had going for me at the end there, is the three big units, obviously massive targets, but armor. Lots of armor. So, um, I mean, you know, I was focusing down all this Black Orcs, because I knew they, they had the most armor piercing. So uh, that's what I was trying to make sure stayed off the battlefield. So, you know, I'd only attack them if I had all three of my guys together. You know, um, that was just the only way to do it, really. I just had to break them as quickly as possible, so they couldn't get that armor piercing. And yeah, I mean, look how close that was. That King Chief was nearly dead. And, uh, yeah, honestly, that's not a lot of health either. So, it was pretty tough. It was a tough fight. Um, definitely kept me on my toes. But I think, at the moment, um, the Greenskins are lacking a lot of the tools that they're going to have in Mortal Empires. So, at the moment, I think this is still fairly well balanced. Um, you know, old factions versus the new. Because this is a pretty damn good build for Lizardmen, to be honest. Because, you know, a lot of armor piercing here. He's got some anti-large and some maneuverability with these guys. Um, having Azag in the air, like, any flying units the Lizardmen bring, um, Azag can take on, to be honest. You know, a load of Pterodon riders, they're just gonna they're just gonna get killed eventually. They're gonna get terrified away. And uh, especially if you've got, you know, archers helping you out. Because the archers can actually do some damage to Pterodon riders. So, um and you know, just with biggins everywhere and savage orc boy you know Savage Orc biggins. Um, yeah, I mean this is pretty damn good. And you saw the Savage Orcs, they just tore through skinks. Uh Saurus Warriors might be a bit more of a problem for this uh, this build actually. If I went less heavy on, uh, you know, just the big Stegodons. Um, I could have taken these guys down a notch and got something, you know, a bit more sturdy in the front line, and that might have done better. But, um, yeah, I think it was interesting. I think it's, it's cool to see this matchup, because you don't often see it. Um, because it doesn't exist yet without mods, so <laughs> I guess that's why. Um, but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, then obviously go say hi to Gobo King. Um, I think he's putting, um, I think he might be putting a match that we've been in Recently, we've we played a load of matches, and we played with some other people as well, in fact. Did some 2v2s, so um, I think he might be putting one up on his channel, but, you know, either way, um, go go say hi, he does some good stuff. So uh, you should definitely go check out his videos. And uh, guys, if you enjoyed this, obviously comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.